Aloy, everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a, uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah, right. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora. Spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Val. This mission isn't gonna be easy. Hope you haven't been slacking off on your training. And risk Zoe coming after me? I value my life. At least you found the Omega clearance. That should help. Wish that was the only thing I found. I knew finding Thebes would lead me to Ted Farrow, but... I never imagined he'd end up like he did. How bad was it? Bad. He destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. If you ask me, he deserved whatever he got. That he did. How's, uh, training with Zoe? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Zoe's been trying to find a way to fix her tribe's land gods. And I suggested that maybe when Gaia's restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get a Festus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course. And the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. 
The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zo liked it. I'm glad you and Zo found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. What will you and Zo do if you go back to the Embrace? I hope she'll come with me. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong, too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this, as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator. And I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they are needed. Like I said, just in case. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. Anything happen I should know about? Zoe and Aaron tried to beat each other up. What? Aaron made some jokes about the Utaru, called them twigs or something like that. So she challenged him to a sparring match. Turns out that Utaru's speed is a pretty good match for Osir and Braun. Things ended in a stalemate. Now they spar once in a while to see if they can break it. Well, let me know how it goes. Anything new with you? Aaron tried to convince me to help him build a... what did he call it? A drum set? But I'm pretty sure Zoe would kill him if it got any noisier around here. Those two are having a hard time getting along, huh? Yeah, they're both stubborn, but they mean well. I'm sure they'll warm up to each other eventually. Is there anything you need from me before I go? Not unless you can somehow make me or Erend better at that Tanakh board game, Strike. Now that Catalo started playing, I don't like our odds. I'm surprised he agreed to play. Someone might have told him Erend helped defeat the Mad Sun King. He got friendlier after that. Still doesn't talk much, but he'll sit down for a game whenever he can. How's everyone feeling? Everyone's curious about Alva. It's amazing to think there's an entire tribe across the Great Waters who've been using focuses for longer than I've been alive. Zoe's been trying to get Alva to run her through Quen history, but she seems a bit shy around her. From what I gather, the Quen get punished if they share data. She just needs some time to get used to us. Makes sense. We'll give her some space. This is it, Varl. To think, it was just the two of us when we first stepped out west. And now we have a team. A good one. This is all because of you, Varl. Yeah, you're right. Smartass. I'm glad you're coming with me, Varl. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? No more running.